Welcome to part 3 of lecture 5 of bluff body aerodynamics. So inclining the windshield reduces the drag slightly. Um, and the, the reason here is that uh, the incline helps because there's less overspeed for the flow at the roof transition point when there's not as much of a change of direction there. So this weakens the adverse pressure gradient over the roof, which means we're going to have better downstream pressure recovery and an increased base pressure all the way back on the rear window, which is really where the actual drag reduction associated with the ge this geometry change manifests itself. Rounding the A pillars also reduces the vehicle drag. Again, we see this kind of asymptotic effect. Um, we'll discuss the C pillars later because we're moving from the front to the back of the vehicle, but um, notionally the, the effect there is similar. The inclination angle uh, of the windshield affects the drag impact of adding the corner radius as well. So these two things are coupled. Um, so there's basically a critical ra radius above which no further benefit happens. And the amount of drag decrease that you get um, from, uh, yeah, most from doing this depends on the inclination angle. So we can see that here um, on the right that basically the drag coefficient um, saturates at some uh, radius, and the radius depends on the inclination. And as we reduce the inclination, um, there's sort of n not necessarily quite as much benefit to be had, um, and we reach it at a lower radius. Now we move to the roof, and arching the roof is something that can be done to decrease the drag coefficient. But we need to be careful here. We must take care not to increase the frontal area and thus increase the total drag. Um, normally, we have to do this in a way that keeps the frontal area constant. So we can see that impact here. We start on the figure on the left at the bottom. What we see is that as we sort of move um, Z1 up, which is going to sort of arch, arch the roof, um, it, the drag coefficient of the vehicle goes down. But if I take the product of the drag, the change in drag coefficient and the area, frontal area of the vehicle, right, I see that's going up when I move that up, and, and that area rises faster than the decrease in drag coefficient. So the CD times A um, is, is going up, and that means the vehicle drag is going to go up. So we have to do this in a, in a way where we didn't sort of change this Z1 if we wanted to get a benefit um, with regards to drag. Right, so we have to be careful about how we implement this roof arching as well. Um, if we have a large transition radiant at the front, or we want to have a large transition radi radius at the front and the rear to avoid separation, and uh, the roof should be tangential to the, to the windshield and, and, and back window. Um, we also want the roof peak to be as far forward as possible. And why do you think this is from an aerodynamic perspective? So take another minute and think about this, try to come up with an answer before you move on to the next part of the video.